right, well, I'm packing up my backpack. Got a little bit of an interesting component to my day. I've been feeling a little bit achy. And then also, um, took my temperature twice within an hour period. The first one was 99.7. So the second one was 101.3, not a big deal. But one of the things that we were told when it comes to malaria, we just say it silly because it becomes less intimidating if we say it silly, malaria, is it's better to catch it early. So I'm gonna head to town, run a few errands, one of which is getting a malaria test strip. So if this is nothing, then you will never see this video. <laughs> if it results that I actually have malaria, it'll be exciting. Then it'll be exciting, why not? <sighs> All right, well, I just got back from the pharmacy. Um, when I first uh, looked into buying test strips, you could actually buy them. Now you can't, you just have to be tested at the pharmacy. So that's what I was at. So you missed the play-by-play -play drama of the waiting of two minutes for your, your results to come through. Came back negative as I suspected. So uh, I guess I'll just drink plenty of water and go about life a little bit rested. But other than that, as usual. Well, last night was a, a rough night. In some ways, I thought I'd be relieved that it isn't malaria. But then bigger questions start opening up like, well, if it's not malaria, then... Zengay fever? Yellow fever? What else is it, you know? So... Mad cow disease. Right, yeah. So anyway, my fever's still up. Still get a lot of aches and headaches and... So, we'll see. gonna go get a second opinion y'all so I feel pretty miserable what time is it Sonia? Mm -hmm. Maybe 10? 10 o'clock so it's one of those things it's a little bit challenging because it's a pretty long wait at the hospital to get tests and it's hot and it's more comfortable to stay at home so it's more exerting but gotta figure out what's going on so I'll head to the hospital I'll get some answers soon All right, well, they tested me for HIV. I'm negative, FYI. Uh, however, for the malaria, uh, they had to send me home and tell me to come back in the afternoon, so. Pretty rough afternoon, mostly just trying to lay down and relax a little bit. Now I'm headed out to hopefully see some results. Well, they just handed me the results. But I'm not allowed to open it until I take it back to the doctor, so we'll see what comes of it. So according to the exam results, said you don't have malaria. Okay. Any type where you don't have the hepatitis also you don't have. Alright, well, I just got back. Turns out, as you can see, I am Malaria negative. I am typhoid negative. Uh, a few other things they tested me for are negative, so that's really good news. So, um, I just seem like I have some sort of intestinal um, infection. So, uh, they prescribed some antibiotics for me, but hopefully, this will blow over pretty soon. So, um, I didn't film any yesterday. 
Um, and that was because I had bigger things on my mind. Um, so Tuesday uh, kind of ended on a high note in the evening because I had gotten back from the hospital and they sent me home with some antibiotics and um, took, took them when I got home. I felt a little bit of relief after that, but then during the night it was, um, hmm, I don't want to be dramatic about it, but it was uh, probably one of the worst, most miserable nights I've, I've had. Um, and then most of yesterday was, was the same as far as being miserable and being, hmm, it's really bad. The fever stayed up. Um, had these shakes and chills. Um, I'm not sure if it was a side effect of the antibiotics, but I would just go through these spells of about 45 minutes to an hour of just uncontrollable shaking. Um, and then there was a point in the afternoon where uh, I just uh, we took my temperature again. It was 104.5. Um, just not a temperature we want to play around with. Um, and, and things got a little bit dark and a little bit um, emotional, even for Sony and I as we're trying to think about what to do. So around that time, my mindset kind of shifted, uh, made a few phone calls uh, with some uh, um, people back in the US. Um, a friend of mine who's a doctor, mess emailed a few others and um, was able to get some good advice and and um, still don't know what this thing is. Um, and, uh, but uh, my mindset shifted a little bit to the point where I said, all right, I'm not, I'm not playing around with this because I know because of me not being able to sleep and me not eating hardly at all, that my body's getting weaker, which means that this disease, this illness or disease or infection or whatever, if it's not growing weaker than I am, and that's a losing, losing equation, right? Um, and so, uh, thankfully, um, Sonia and Sean and Abby have just been super accommodating. At that point, I kind of said, all right, I'm not playing around. Um, any little thing that could help me, anything little thing, I'm just gonna try to make happen, you know, and at that point, means inconveniencing my wife or or Sean and Abby. I'm reluctant to do that. I hate that, but um, they're so gracious and and they act as if it's a blessing to them to allow me to help them. So appreciate them a lot. Um, however, I'm, I'm glad to share, though I'm, I'm kind of cautiously optimistic. Uh, I'm not too confident in it because like I said, on Tuesday night, I was feeling a little bit better, but then I just crashed down that night. But so far today, I've been feeling a little bit better. Still have a fever, a slight one, but so far feeling a little bit better. And, um, and so I'm thankful for that. And so we'll see kind of how the rest of the day goes and how tonight goes. I'm still taking the antibiotics um, and a few other uh, medications. So today was quite the day. Um, we decided this morning that um, even though um, my symptoms weren't really getting worse, they weren't really improving, and my energy level was getting lower and lower. And so we decided that um, we needed to take more action, right? 
And so um, that either meant one choice of going and using, returning to one of the hospitals in Bow, um, or traveling over to Freetown, which is about four hours away. And even though um, that journey would just is, um, takes a toll, takes a toll on us. Um, it's uncomfortable. It's hot. No AC in the vehicle. Also being sick on a on a, on a travel like that is really tough. Um, but we felt like going to Freetown was the less likely scenario of kind of you know striking out and not finding answers. Um, so, um, both the Bow Government Hospital and the pharmacy that we, we looked into, um, didn't really give us that many answers. And so we thought, okay, we know of a hospital in, um, Freetown that was recommended to us by multiple sources. And so that's where we're at now. And in spite of two previous negative malaria tests. Turns out that's exactly what I got. So, um, pretty severe malaria, um, to the point where on the, on the drive to Freetown today, some pretty, pretty dark, um, thoughts and emotions were running through my mind and Anyway, I'll, I'll share more about that later, but um, there's also obviously a possibility that it can be more than just malaria, and so we're waiting for the results of some of those other things to come through, but um, I've already started some malaria treatment that'll take around 24 hours to to take effect, and then we'll, we'll do another count, uh, parasite count again for that. Um, so, obviously super emotional. Um, been been crying a lot just uh it's been one of the most testing weeks of my life and um I think this experience revealed some kinks in my armor and in my faith and I intend wholeheartedly to to learn from them and to grow from this experience and anyway reflect more on this this week, I'm sure, in, in a future time. All right, well, um, I don't think I updated you guys yesterday or today, so I need to spend a few minutes, a few moments, um, giving you guys an update. So... Uh, we were pretty relieved when we found out that I had malaria. Pretty much just because it gave us answers. And it gave us a direction for treatment other than just guessing, which is kind of where we're at for the majority of the week. Um, so on Friday evening, within an hour of being here, first result out of the many different tests uh, that were taken, that I have malaria. Saturday, been treated for malaria. Was also informed that the test for dengue fever also came up. And it came up positive. Um, and then today, the results came back for typhoid fever which I am vaccinated, but the results came back positive. I'm not making those up, guys. And so, um, it's not really complicating things now. I'm sure it did earlier. I'm sure it's in some ways why um, I had such a thing, a hard time, you know. It is, it's more than just one, it was a compound you know, issue I was having with multiple different things. Uh, but thankfully today, things have turned a corner. I'm regaining some energy, little by little. Um, my blood pressure is back where 
closer to where it should be, which was a pretty big concern for a while. I had pretty low blood pressure. Um, and so um, just trying to stay hydrated and rested. Um, not sure when they're thinking about um, letting me go from the hospital. Um, doesn't, doesn't really matter um, to me. I just I want to get well and be on the right track. I don't want to take shortcuts at this point. But I'm um, so thankful to God that it seems like we've turned a corner for the better. Um, I was able to sleep good last night, so hopefully we can do that again tonight. So anyway, this is a brief update for you guys. Comes from these bottles. Down the tube into Eve's body to fix her problems. Yeah. Well, the doctor just visited and is releasing me today. And um, feel kind of mixed about it a little bit. It's because um, I'm not cured of any of these things yet. I still get the malaria, the typhoid, and the dengue all in me. I still have um, daily fevers, and but. I think the idea is, um, you know, the worst of it's behind me, and so just going to take some management even for the next week or two to get over it. And so we're going to um, head over to the hotel where Sonia and Eden and the Reiches have been for uh, since I've been here, and uh, we're just going to start the next step of recovery there. Well, uh, I've been here at the hotel for um, almost exactly two weeks. Um, progress is, is slow, but it's steady. And um, thankful for that. Um, it's obvious. Um, some of the, the primary health goals and uh, objectives of, of being here is uh, regaining my appetite, um, trying to, to regain some of the weight that I've lost uh, through the past several weeks, um, as well as trying to sleep and just trying to um, to get more energy, you know, both you know, obviously physically, but mentally, my energy levels are still pretty small and pretty low. Um, but uh, thanks be to God, He's seeing me through it. I, I just couldn't be more thankful. Uh, couldn't be more thankful for Sonia. She's just taking amazing care of me and just. Um, so thankful for for Sean and for Abby uh, Reich, our, 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 our good friends and our co-workers here in Sierra Leone. Uh, they just stepped up and just anything they, they could do to help us out, they did. And they took care of, of Eden for, for so much uh, of the time that enabled Sonia to be able to then take care of me. Um, thankful, for, thankful for my dad being here. Um, as well, uh, just thankful for the brethren and Bo. Um, thankful for all the prayers that have been sent up on my behalf. Just it's so humbling. Uh, I still need a lot of them. I still have a, a good bit of recovery to go. Um, you know, I anticipate staying here at least till the end of this week, if if not till uh, next week as well. Um, we know that progress will still be slow and. Even once we return to Bo, it'll it'll take a while for for me to get back to my normal pace of things. But when when we were as low and I was in as bad of a shape as I was, the this prospect of slow and steady and patient recovery is a wonderful um, 
a wonderful alternative to, to where I was at. And so I give God thanks for where, where I am currently and, and even as I know, um, uh, some more patience is still required. Thanks everyone for checking in. Thanks for all the prayers. Please continue to send them on, on my behalf. I um, feel so humbled. There's so many lessons that I've, I don't feel like I've fully been able to grasp from this experience. And I don't even feel like I have the mental capability or energy at this point to be able to evaluate them thoroughly, but um, time will come for that. And so perhaps I'll, I'll share another video in the future, just kind of detailing some of the lessons and some of the, the ways this experience has really touched me and moved me, but that's for another time. Uh, thanks for checking in and I'll, I'll catch you later.